So I've got another idea for a DIY wooden computer case. And for the internals of this computer, I'm going to reuse these ones that I built for a previous build with the additional feature that I'm going to have a video card included this time for extra video performance. So this uh, new design that I came up with, it's going to have this design element that I liked. It's, it's a rib and it's going to sort of look like a cooling fin or cooling rib type thing. And of course it's wood, so it's not going to have much of a cooling effect. It's more just kind of a visual element more than anything else. So anyway, that's the idea. And in order to create that shape, I found this special router bit. And I don't know if you can see that, but the shape of it is such that it will basically give me that groove that creates the two sides that will make ribs, or the appearance of ribs, uh, without a whole lot of effort. So this project is going to be mainly built from cherry and walnut wood. So I'm starting off here by taking some rough cherry boards and cutting them to length. And now I'm taking those cherry boards and gluing them together so I can get the right width for my project. And now we're into machining the board. So I'm cutting a chamfer here on the corner of the board. And now I'm starting off with those grooves that I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. So this is the first groove. And I'm going to progressively put more grooves into this board until I get all the grooves I need. And here you can see the finished product with all the grooves cut in it. And now we're working on the base. So I've started uh, cutting some dado grooves into the base. So these are going to accept the two sides that we just made. And here we're test fitting the sides to make sure they fit in those newly cut grooves. And now I'm cutting a kind of a chamfer, kind of a relief type thing on the sides of the base. Kind of a tricky thing to do on the table saw with the part standing up like that. So I did a pretty good job, but uh, let's see the finished product in a second. Alright, so you can see the case is starting to come together. I got the two sides done with the with these ribs here and then the base. So now I'm going to work on the top. So for the top, I could just make a piece that's sort of like these pieces and just bridges across the top here. But what I thought would be kind of nice would be to have a piece that's more like a rounded shape, like kind of a dome shape. So I want to do that. Now the problem with that is it's pretty hard to cut a rounded shape on a, on a saw or any kind of saw that I have. But uh, what I thought I would do is maybe take uh, pieces of 3 quarter inch thick material cut this shape in them like that and then that would make up that that rounded shape and cut a whole bunch of these layer them together and then eventually I'll have enough to make up this whole length and then that's how I'm going to make that shape so I'm going to go ahead and do that so here I'm taking another cherry board and I'm applying these templates to the whole length of it so I've got uh, I think I have 11 plus 1 extra and uh, I'm going to use those as my outline to, to cut these pieces out on the bandsaw. And so here I am starting out on the bandsaw. So here's the uh, first blank that I'm cutting on. I'm trying to cut those ribs out or teeth. So you can see how uh, kind of an intricate process it is. And I've got this one just about done. See all the chips on the side of the table there from, from all the pieces I cut out. Man, that's a lot of chips. Alright, so you can see all the 11 pieces that I made. I got this last one. I'm just going to remove that template from it. So these two are going to be the end pieces and you can see I already chamfered them 
I actually chamfered them before I did the cutting of the teeth because I figured it would be almost impossible to put the chamfer on later. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing these up into packets of three of them. Get three or four together. I'll start with an end piece. Put them together. Okay, so far so good. So I'm going to clamp these. Okay, so I got these three pieces now ready. Uh, I did a fair amount of sanding on these. I used all kinds of different methods. I used my electric sander and these pads and things. And it's about as good as I can get it. And it's not perfect, but I'm going to go with it. Now I'm going to bond these together, make them into one assembly like that. Keep them lined up. I'm going to flip this over and use a spacer piece here. All right. So I'm putting some vent holes into the sides and into the top assembly before I glue everything together. And those are going to serve as uh, vents for the heat that's being generated inside the computer case, for both on the sides and in the top from the video card. All right, you know what? It's time to glue this thing up. Even though I had test fitted this piece earlier, for some reason it didn't fit anymore. So I had to go get some help from a persuader. Well, that problem was easily solved. After that, the rest of the assembly went very smoothly. And now it's on to working on the front and rear panels for the case, which are going to be made out of walnut. And so I had this uh, walnut board that's uh, around an inch thick, and I wanted to split it into two pieces so I could have uh, some thinner material to work with. So I used this uh, right angle uh, fence attachment for my bandsaw. It's actually the first time I used it, and it seems to give me pretty good results. And now I'm taking those uh, boards that I just split and I'm going to join them together to give me some wider boards so I can make those uh, panels. And finally, I'm uh, taking those boards that I just glued up and I'm planing them down so I can get them nice and flat on both sides and get them to the thickness that I'm going to need. And now I'm uh, cutting out those end panels and putting some, uh, some slots and holes in these pieces and cutting them out to the outside shape that I'm needing. Uh, I'm doing it on the scroll saw. All right, let's see how well this fits. That looks pretty good. And that looks good too. So I'm putting this uh, rabbiting bit into the router table and that's going to allow me to cut a groove into the inside of the case to accept the end panels.
and you can see how the end panel fits into those newly cut grooves fit really nice so the front panel I'm gonna glue that one in right now the rear panel we're gonna put that on later with screws and here I'm attaching uh, just some wooden blocks that are gonna serve as a surface to drill into and later I'm gonna put some uh, threaded inserts into those uh, into those holes And uh, here you can see I'm installing those threaded inserts. I'm using my power drill to uh, install those. And then I'm putting the cover on and testing it out, putting some screws in there to see, make sure the threaded inserts are in the right spot. All right, let's do a little test fit here. You can see I've got these various uh, little pieces in here, these stops and the little ledges and stuff. This is to hold the SSD. And here I'm preparing a piece of brass. I'm attaching some uh, paper templates to cut out some shapes. And here I'm uh, cutting out some of those shapes. Don't have a lot of footage of uh, cutting that out. I had a little camera issue when I was filming that and I don't have a lot to show you there. And here we are. We're attaching the uh, USB uh, port with the, the plate attached to it. And uh, putting on some other hardware as well. This is kind of a decorative plate that covers the uh, LED lights and the uh, the switches and here we have the nameplate now to make some final connections here and install everything And it's finally done. So, you know what that means. We can put on our channel logo. All right, I've got everything plugged in. Uh, you can see I've got the, the video card. I'm using the video card as my video connection. So we'll see how this thing works. Something's happening, but there's no video. So I discovered that I left out this power connector. So I'm going to connect that now. So I found that after I got the video card correctly powered up, or plugged in, that now it does use that new video card instead of the built-in video and it looks like we're we're in business yeah so that is coming off of the new video card and what's really cool is it's very quiet where before I had it incorrectly connected it was very loud all right so this project is done I am totally thrilled about how this project came out this project was a lot of work, 
And actually, all that work led to a lot of satisfaction after it was all done. I love the way these so-called cooling fins turned out, and especially the way this curves around and the, the ribs just follow along that shape. Really happy with that. I'm also really happy with the way these this front cover fits up perfectly to the to the outside of the case. Really nice. And of course my brass accent plates really leave a nice touch. The video card, a nice enhancement to this Hackintosh that I built previously. Uh, I'm playing some video here just to show the way the video looks. This is not actually a speed test of any kind, of course, but just to show off that color. Anyway, really happy with this project. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.